The prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament, he said this in Isaiah 64, 6. We are, say it with me, what? All. We are all infected and impure with sin. Come on, turn to somebody there in your gathering and say, he talking about you. He's talking about you. When we, he says, when we display our righteous deeds, they are, say it with me, nothing but filthy rags. In other words, we are all sinners. Now turn back to that person in your gathering and say, he's talking about me. He's talking about me. We are all sinners, but we don't all recognize our sin. Simon didn't recognize his own sin. He looked at his life and didn't realize that he didn't look any different than the woman. He had on the, the religious garb, he had on the, the, the robe and the jewels and the, the tassels, but he did not look any different than the woman. He didn't even know that he didn't look different. Why? Because he was a religious leader and he thought, I'll perform these religious rituals and God will see that I'm good. You know, core church, we have eight core practices, eight, eight of them. In fact, we'll put them on the screen. You, you can see these eight core practices, whether it's, uh, you know, sharing Christ or Sunday worship or daily devotions. These are the eight things that help us to grow healthy and strong in our relationship with Jesus. And I'd like for us, just for a moment in your gathering, here's what I'd like for you to do. Share with one another, may, which one of these you'd say, I'm doing pretty good at this one, and I'm not doing so good with this one. Just take 30 seconds. I want you to share with somebody in your group. Shout out to Alex Trebek. little tribute moment there for that man. Hey, when our, when our soul is infected with sin, it, it doesn't matter what practice you put into place. To God, it looks like filthy rags. We do this all the time. Like, oh, I'm going to come on Sunday and whoo, or I'm, I'm going to read my Bible and, and, and it's kind of the great cover up. And I'm, I'm going to look the part and I'm going to do the right thing. But you got to realize you think you look good to everybody around you. But to God, he's like, no, nah, I don't. That's not what I'm looking for. So a while back, I, I heard this banging outside of the house on the side of the house. I just heard this. And I was like, what in the world is that? And so I go outside and I look and there's a woodpecker beating the snot out of the side of my fireplace. And he is, he is beating this hole right into the side of it. And I, of course, being the craftsman and the handyman that I am, I, I went to the shed, I found an old piece of plywood, got out my, my screwdriver, and I screwed up a piece of wood. Like here, I took a picture of it so you could see it. Like this, this, is, this is my repair job. Yeah, <laughs> Not so great, is it? But that's exactly what it looks like when we perform religious, religious rituals. Like, it's great that you are practicing the eight core practices. They help you grow healthy and strong in your relationship with Jesus. But guess what? When you are using that and that's, you're not coming before God in repentance, it's no different than just covering up a hole. Right behind it, there's this glaring hole in your soul. And Jesus looks at it like, Filthy rags, that's, that's not what I'm looking for. And so it's through daily reflection that the Holy Spirit helps us to recognize that we've been covering things up. Helps us to recognize those things that we need to repent of. 